Okay, now in this problem, we're given a formula D that's used to approximate the number of hours of daylight. And in this formula, we have two um, variables we're going to consider. One is um, the declination of the sun, which is this I. So I in the formula is the declination of the sun. And then the other part is um, at a location theta. So the location theta that appears here in the formula. And then at the end of all that, we've got to express that whole numerator of that fraction in radians. So um, in the problem here, we're told approximate the number of hours of daylight in a city that's located 28 degrees 12 minutes north. So it's giving you the north latitude. So in this one, let's see if I can go back to that. This right here, that is going to be our um, at um, our latitude, north latitude theta. And then the um, the angle of inclination um, or declination rather. Go back to that. So for our first one, I has a value of 23.5 degrees. So going back up here in this formula, we're going to make that replacement 23.5 degrees. And then we'll consider the other two pieces of the problem. Okay, so in this problem, let's start by substituting what we know. So for the first one, D equals... And let me make this a little bit darker here. D equals 24. And that's 1 minus the inverse cosine of the tangent of I, which in the first case is 23.35 degrees. Point five degrees, and then that's multiplied times the tangent of theta, and theta for all three of these problems is twenty eight degrees twelve minutes. And um, we're going to take that numerator and divide it by pi. Okay, so this is the equation we have to work with. Now, if I take care of just this part up here um, in, the, in the problem, because this is the part that we're really concerned about, this inverse cosine, the tangent of I times the tangent of theta. So taking care of just that, um, my answer is going to be expressed as a um, degree measurement. Okay, so I'm looking at just this part right here. Everything's in degrees, so when I plug all that into my calculator, just that numerator, that's going to give me um, as an answer to that 76 point five one. Seven seven three six. I'm just jotting down some some places here. Degrees that replaces this that's highlighted in yellow. So now I've got to change that degree to radians to use it in the in the problem. So to do that, I'm going to take this answer and multiply it times pi radians over 180 degrees. And now that expression is going to be in radians. Now, if you'll notice, this part up here that's highlighted in yellow in the formula, um, that's being divided by pi. So I'm going to take this answer here and divide it by pi, which is the same thing as multiplying by 1 over pi. So when, what ends up happening is this cancels out, and when we get our answer here in degrees, 
um, to change it to radian and being divided by pi, all I need to do is divide that number by 180. Okay, so now I've got, let me, let me write it down just to kind of clarify it one more time with this part. 24, 1 minus all of this stuff right here, the 76.51773, blah, 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 um, um, divided by 180. Um, and that answer is, that answer is point four two. Just jotting down what I see on my calculator here. Five zero nine eight five three four seven. And then plugging all this stuff into my calculator, my answer ends up being. 13 and rounded off to two decimal places is 13.80 hours. Okay, so that's the answer to part A. Now I've got to do the same thing again for parts B and C. And in part B, the angle theta is now going to be zero degrees. So when I plug into my problem, okay, so this is part B equal to, and that's going to be 24, 1 minus the inverse cosine, and put all this stuff in parentheses, inverse cosine, um, times the tangent, or of the tangent zero degrees times the tangent of 28 degrees 12 minutes and that's being divided by pi So we change, we, you know, we're going to plug this into our calculator. We'll get a degree measure, change that to radians, divide by pi, which is like dividing by 180. And simplifying all that, we end up with 12 hours. And then the last part, the substitution that we're going to make here for <clears throat> That is 1 minus, and this is going to be the inverse cosine. Of the tangent, and this angle is 22 degrees, 48 minutes. times the tangent of 28 degrees, 12 minutes, and that's divided by pi. And we close that in parentheses. Here again, we're going to get an angle measure in degrees, change it to radians, divide by pi, make our substitutions. So that final answer to two decimal places should be 13.74 hours. Um, I hope this helps.